today. Temperatures were cool, but a little warmer than yesterday. We'll drop back to 24 degrees at 9 o'clock tonight. Cloudy conditions have moved in, but still pretty light winds, so not terribly uncomfortable. Just a little on the chilly side here through the overnight hours. Here's a radar satellite loop from the past three hours. You see some of those clouds that have pushed into the region, and we'll keep the clouds overnight. And also, a storm system moving into the area along with some colder air uh, starting to move in for tonight and tomorrow. Radar satellite picture band of cloudiness through South Dakota into Minnesota. That kind of right behind the cold front that's dropping southward. And also, we'll see snow break out through portions of South Dakota overnight before moving in tomorrow. So here's our in-house computer model. You see the development of some of those snow showers through the overnight and then by tomorrow morning this is about 9 a.m. some of those start to move into the Omaha metro so light areas of snow and snow showers possible through late morning and then through the afternoon as that band drops south into the evening hours not a lot of snow but just a little bit maybe some places could get some light accumulations this is our in-house computer model and it suggests uh, really no accumulation for Omaha but maybe some light uh, amounts to the north in Norfolk or Takema Denison and Carol, and similar amounts from the North American models, another model that we look at for uh, snow amounts, and so it's maybe just under an inch here in the Omaha metro, so it depends on whether we can see some of those heavier snow showers tomorrow, but looks like little to no accumulation for Omaha. Uh, temperatures all across the area, mainly in the lower 30s to the south, where there's not as much snow on the ground, and colder to the north and west, where they've got several inches of snow in places like Norfolk, 23 there, and 23 into Columbus, but even further to the north, much colder weather. Look at these single digits that reside through much of North Dakota, uh, teens into South Dakota. So that's kind of the mark of the Arctic air that will be dropping in by Monday night and then lasting through Tuesday and Wednesday. 30 degrees, our current temperature at Epley. Winds are light out of the north at 9 miles per hour. We've got clouds that have been moving into the area. Spoke with our weather watcher in Arlington, Nebraska, Larry Nelson. 30 degrees, the high there, said clouds moved in this afternoon. And your hourly planner through the rest of this evening. We'll see dropping temperatures, or at least your Almanac 34 was our high today. Real average temperatures for this afternoon. And your hourly planner, 24 degrees at 9 o'clock. By 11, we're at 21. We fall back into the teens by early tomorrow morning. Uh, here's that storm predictor. There's the front dropping through. And initially, temperatures won't drop real quickly, but we do have that north breeze. And snow showers move in for tomorrow. That band of snow showers will drop southward by about 6 or 7 o'clock, but we keep the cold conditions. The north winds really start to pick up, and temperatures drop quickly. By early Tuesday morning, we're around 0 degrees, and we don't climb out of the single digits on Tuesday afternoon. Breezy conditions send the wind chill well below 0. It'll be cold right on through Tuesday night. 19 degrees for your overnight low temperature, 20 degrees at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Some flurries are possible at that point, and then snow showers become more likely into the afternoon. 24 degrees at 3 o'clock and temperatures quickly drop after that. Look at this by Tuesday morning, zero, eight for the high temperature on Tuesday afternoon and it's breezy too so the wind chill likely stays below zero for quite a period of time right on through Wednesday morning, negative two there on New Year's Eve to start that day, 17 for the high nine on New Year's Day morning. So Brandy, a stretch of really cold